Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here, once again, with another video on The Flash Season 8. The, uh, the stuff is rolling out now. It's just hitting us across the face, left, right, and center. So late last week, we got the first bunch of details and information for the already announced five-part event that will be kicking off The Flash Season 8. Some would call it a crossover. The CW is just sort of calling it an event to, like, downplay it a bit, not say it's going to be too big. But based off the scope that now, that's been revealed, it's pretty much a crossover. I mean, there's characters crossing over to another show. Isn't that what a crossover is? Anyway. But yeah, the first big thing that was announced was the actual title of the event. And I guess in the case of The Flash, it's the title of the next graphic novel. We can assume that this five episode event is its own graphic novel. And that is Armageddon, which could be associated with the Armageddon 2001 story from the comics. But that's for us to wait and find out, I guess. Next up was the reveal of the guest stars for this event or guest characters for this event. Even though many think there will be more revealed later, which I'm not going to say is a certainty, but it wouldn't surprise me. And maybe the guest characters that were announced were the main ones that will feature heavily. And we might see some cameos or one episode appearances from some other characters. I'm not too sure. But the guest characters revealed last week are Batwoman, the Ryan Wilder or new version of Batwoman, uh, the Atom, Ray Palmer, Black Lightning, Alex Danvers slash Sentinel. Sentinel was released on the thing and everyone's like, who the hell's Sentinel? So you have to watch Supergirl, I guess, to know who that is. But that's Alex Danvers. Uh, Ryan Choi, Mia Queen, Reverse Flash, and Damien Dark. Those are the eight guest characters. With the final piece of information coming out, I think the day after that, that the villain for this event would be Despero, played by Tony Curran. But over the past 24 hours, we got our first set photos from this event, with The Flash having been filming season eight for like... A week or so, maybe like a week and a half, I think at this point, something like that. Now these said photos are coming from the Patreon of Canada Graphs. He might have a public post with these up by the time this video goes out, I'm not too sure. If he does, I'll replace the link in the description with the public link. But at the time I'm making this video, they are from his Patreon. So that's what the starting link will be. But of course, let me know in the comments section down below, what are your general reactions to this? Do you like the general look at it? I know it's, it's basic, it's a first look, but obviously you can still form some sort of opinion, I guess, just based off what you're seeing. But yeah, let me know your general thoughts down there in the comments. I'm always curious to see what you guys are saying, as well as any potential theories you have. You might have one, even off the little stuff here, who knows? And of course, if you like what you see and you're looking forward to this crossover or event, as CW was saying, and you just enjoy the video, why not drop a like on it to show your support and excitement? Now, we can assume this is episode one filming, as you would think, because I've just started. However, I've heard from a pretty reliable source that they are filming scenes from other episodes while doing this episode, you know, the first episode. And that could be the same in the other episodes when they're filming as well. So while filming episode one, they might film some scenes or a scene for episode three. And while filming episode four, they might film a scene or some scenes that will be in episode one. I'm assuming this would be due to the list of guest stars and guest characters and their availability. But yeah, that's not confirmed. I'm not saying that is 100% what is happening. It's just something I was told by someone who has given me accurate information in the past. So, so just keep that in mind. But um, yeah, this could be for another episode that isn't episode one, these said photos. It could be for episode three. But based off what we see in these photos, it's given me episode one vibes. Just give me those episode one vibes. I don't know if you're going to be feeling them as well. But yeah, let's jump into these set photos. So the first one is our favorite damaged piece of property within Central City. And that's the good old taxi. I feel like we always see these damaged taxis and I'm not too sure how they work with them. I don't know, like when they use them and they damage them, they can just sort of pop them out and then reshape them to whatever form of damage they can. I'm not too sure, but if they're reused, if they're getting new ones, sorry, every single time, they're going through a lot of taxis. But we can see the flash is being thrown up against one and he's looking up. So he's looking up at someone tall. He's looking up at someone with some height, definitely over a good six or seven feet. So we'll come back to that in regards to who's looking at him. Uh, one thing that we can confirm based off this is the suit. The suit didn't change. There was concern that they were going to change it. Like, they feel like they have to force to because the Flash has never stuck with the same suit for more than two seasons. So, season one was its own suit. Season two got the emblem and some little changes. Then season four, we got that, like, leather biker suit, which uh, was, looked, looked cool. It was a bit baggy, but... And then season five... Um, bicycle helmet and then season six we pretty much got this suit and i think in season seven they made some slight changes but, but season six and seven were pretty much the same suit so people thought going into season eight we might get a new suit whether that's just addition of gold boots or just a complete overhaul but they're sticking with it and you know what i like that because i think this is pretty much as good as a suit that you're gonna get 
It's the most comic accurate suit the Flash is ever going to have. So I don't mind them sticking with it outside of the gold boots. That's pretty much all they could add. So yeah. But joining the Flash outside of a subway, everyone was pointing that out. I posted these set photos on Twitter and everyone's like, oh my God, there's a subway. I'm like, yeah, it's not, it's not, a, we're not entering a fictional universe. There is a subway in Vancouver where they film. Anyway, anyone hungry for subway? I'm not too sure. But yeah, so obviously we can see the Flash joined by Ray Palmer or the Atom. So we knew he was coming in. As I said, that was revealed in the guest character list and everything like that. I, mean, I wonder if he's going to be like a main player, whether he's in, all, if he's in like all the episodes or he just plays a certain part. It's cool to have him back. Obviously, he's not on Legends. He left last year and he really hasn't been the Atom consistently on that show. He's just been Ray Palmer. So it's cool to see him actually be a superhero with the Flash and see them team up. Um, I think this is the first time he's guest peering, guest starring in like a Flash episode for a Flash specific thing since season one, I think. So that's really cool. The only uncool thing is I think that was the Bee Lady episode, which wasn't the biggest fan of, but anyway. <laughs> but speaking of the Atom, it looks like he's about to punch Chester P. Runk here because that left hand or that right hand is like, maybe he's going to vibrate his hand through his chest. I'm not too sure. Not sure what's happening here. Some photo blur. But we do have Chester P. Runk and Ray Palmer Adam. Now, the thing I do want to note is that on Chester, he has a shirt and also like a lanyard pass thing. It's a Central City Technology Convention. So that's um, where they were filming. They were filming at, I think, the Vancouver Convention Center. So they're obviously going to turn it into the Central City Convention Center and they're going to have the technology convention there as well. Someone else seems to be going to this convention and we'll go back, we'll go to that photo uh, a bit after this. But I do wonder whether that's what the villain is attacking or it's just a it's just a coincidence that that's what's going on here. Not too sure, but that's where Chester is and this other character which we'll uh, come to in a second. And that character is Iris. So Iris as you can see has the lanyard that does say CCTC or Central City Technology Convention. It's, there's too many C's. Well, Central City Convention Center, that's four C's. Just C, 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 C. Too many C's. That's just too many of the same letter. But anyway, you might notice that Iris seems to be rocking a new look. Now, I can't remember if she had like this reddish or very light brown hair going on last season. For some reason, I think there was an episode where at least it looked like it. But I think this is a new look for Iris this season. And from what I know, this is uh, Candace Patton actually requested this. She wanted to have like the, uh, not necessarily go full on redhead because obviously it's not. Like it's definitely like a light brown reddish tinge or something like that. But apparently she requested this. And it looks good. I don't think anyone's going to complain. It definitely looks good. She definitely rocks it. Um, but yeah, as, you, as I said, she's got the lanyard the same as uh, Chester. So she's going to that convention as well. But it's a bit weird that she would go. It's like she's an investigative reporter. So is there, is there a specific reason to go there? Is there some weird stuff going on? Are they tracking a, you know, a potential lead or something like that? Or is it just that nothing's going on and they decide to just go to the convention center and use the, the citizen as like a way to get a press pass and Chester tags along because he wants to check out the new technology. I'm not too sure, but we know that they get caught up in uh, the chaos that goes on outside of the convention center at least. But who's providing that chaos, you might ask? Well, we already confirmed uh, that Despero is the villain. And as we can see, we don't have necessarily a monster, but we have Tony Curran here. So this is the actual actor of Tony Curran. As you can see, he has the CGI like sort of facial marker things on his face so they can track his you know emotions and everything like that so on set when he was filming they had him standing on like a tall platform to make him taller and in that first photo which you can see again that's what the flash is looking up at so obviously Despero comes in knocks the flash he hits his taxi and um the flash is looking up at him going well you're tall and an alien so yeah, they're obviously going to capture his face and use those emotions and when he's speaking and everything like that. Um, I'm interested to see how much he, if he's like an alien the entire time, um, or if they do this ability in the comics, which I think I said in my other video where we talked about Despero, where he can necessarily, he can like go into someone else's body and they use them as a host. And we could see that. So they save on CGI. Um, but yeah, at least based off this scene, they're going to be going uh, full on CGI and using the facial trackers to, you know, track his face. But in regards to what Despero looks like, well, they did have the concept art for Despero release the shoulders and head and above on a stick. And that's so they can use it to, so the actors have something to look at and like they can use it for the CGI later on to track and everything like that. And you can see him on screen right now. So this is the first look at Despero. Keep in mind, this is the concept art. This isn't the CGI. So this is actually the concept art for the character. 
looks extremely comic accurate. I did see some people complain that there's no third eye. He has a third eye on his forehead. He actually does. You can see the bump there where the eye is, but it's not open. It, it opens and closes like a normal eye. And it's not open all the time like his other... Like he'll keep his normal two eyes open and the other one can be closed. So obviously it's going to be like a big reveal, I guess, in the episode when he opens it and does something with it. So this is our first look at Despero. I think he looks good. I was sort of worried they're going to go the one where his fin is like is like sideways because they have one where it looks like, I don't know what you'd call like, it. It, it's not a mohawk. It's like the other way around. So I prefer the mohawk look. I think it looks cooler. In my opinion, at least I prefer this version. So I'm happy they went this way. Obviously they're going full CGI with it. When you do humanoid CGI, it can be really hit or miss. There's really never any real middle ground. It's really, it's usually like not very good or it's, you know, pretty good to not, you know, pretty good to, you know, good, you know, and you're sort of happy with it. So um, interested to see what it looks like. They're doing the facial trackers and everything like that, so that's usually a plus, which usually, which makes me think the CGI will be better than say for Weza, where they didn't do the facial tracking last season. So that gives me hope that it's going to look good. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing like a full reveal of him though, because we can just see his shoulders and head and everything like that. But I'm excited to see what he actually looks like, not necessarily on the show, but if they just release like a poster with him or something like that. I'd be very interested to find that or just to see that. Now we are about to head into September. I think we'll, by the time this video goes out tomorrow, it'll be September in America. So we're only about, I think we had six weeks away from DC Fandom where we should get the trailer for season eight of The Flash and the first like finished look at some of the stuff from this event, whether it be the stuff from this scene or this episode that we talked about today or other moments or specifically a full look at Despero. Though, of course, we should expect more information to come out about this season and this event and stuff from set over the next several weeks. So stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, looking forward to it all. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. We could drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions on all of this. What are your thoughts on the look of Despero and just some of the other stuff that we go over in this, uh, we went over in this video. Let me know all that in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.